And the management and staff of 5KA, 5AU and 5RM are, I believe, to be congratulated on achieving South Australia's first network development of community-oriented stations. And I now officially declare SABN on the air. Hello, I'm Vaughan Harvey, and this is the 5KA story. On Friday the 25th of March 1927, Sport Radio Company began broadcasting from here, 51 Kintore Avenue Prospect. The station had to select a new call sign. They looked at the nearest street sign, and 5KA was created. After a brief stay in Flinders Street, the station moved into this building, which was famous for the Bondevue, a beautifully equipped first-class ballroom. Dance band sessions were a popular part of KA's program back then. The station was owned at this time by the Jehovah Witness Church. On the 8th of January 1941, the Department of the Navy, invoking national security regulations, closed all radio stations owned by the Jehovah Witness Church, including 5KA. 5KA returned in December 1943. Now owned by the Methodist Church and the Labour Party, the station began broadcasting right here in Franklin Street. A wire was strung from the church steeple to create an antenna, and after three years off the air, nothing could stop 5KA now. When 5KA turned 21, we launched 5KA Radio City. New studios, new equipment, and a modern, groovy new sound. By the 70s, 5KA had evolved into a major music station that reached out and touched you. Who could forget 5KA The Rock Station in 1974, or Life Station 5KA in 1975? 5KA was undoubtedly the most progressive music radio station in Australia. In the early 80s, change was in the air. 12K was launched and, well yes, you could say it the most successful part of the 5KA story. And after a couple of surveys, KA changed to an adult contemporary format. Only one radio station has Adelaide's best mix of old and new songs. You know, the kind of records that you'd like to play yourself. 5KA. 5KA plays stacks of your favourites from the 60s and 70s along with the latest hits. 5KA. It's the kind of radio you've been waiting for. I've made the change. Why don't you? Adelaide 5KA. Greatest memories. Latest hits. Hi, Cordo on KA. We have a great lineup of songs for you. This However, week. at that stage over on Greenhill Road, FM had arrived. And AM stations, all of a sudden, weren't as happening as they used to be. So, again, 5KA had to change to keep up with the times and a major competitor in FM. At last, the greatest hits in quality stereo. Adelaide's new FM, 104.7. KAF. In the late 80s, 5KA moved back to Curry Street and became KAFM on the 1st of January 1990. By this time, KA was owned by Wesco after 3KZ sold their joint shares. In 1993, Village Rocho purchased the radio station. The name KAFM was last heard on the airwaves on September 30th, 1993. For a short time, Village Roadshow used the call sign FM 104.7 before launching Triple M on the 1st of October 1994. My name is Carol Taylor. Welcome to Tall Tales Creative. This is where I came up with the crazy idea of reuniting 5KA and KAFM. You know, I was part of the KA family from 84 to 93. Working in radio was a dream come true for me. And in the early days, well, it was more fun than work. So I thought a reunion would be, well, an excellent excuse for a party. So the wheels were set in motion, and the day is nearly here. Many long hours have been spent in this very spot, searching for people, making phone calls, writing letters, making phone calls, organising meetings and making more phone calls. So let's party. I hope you enjoy the night as much as my committee and I have enjoyed putting it together for you. 5KA, remember the hits and the memories. This 
so glad to see you here tonight. Thank you. And I wonder if you can just check the books before you leave. Yeah, better not. <laughs> <laughs> they might be my mistakes. <laughs> when, when did you work at KA? From 1949 to 1970. Wow, that was a long time. You're a survivor. About 22 years. Something like that, nearly. Oh, you're likely to see a few people that you recognise. I might recognise one or two. Did you work at 5KA? Never. Tell, them, <laughs> tell us your story. When were you at KA? 72, 73. So it's a fair while ago. We should build my sunnies. It was a long time ago. It was before my time, 77 to 82. Oh, you know, I'm just a young boy. And what were you doing there? I was a car boy. Left school, went straight to KA, did that. And that was settled me in for life. I didn't want to do anything else other than that. With the age of technology, can you just explain to the viewers, you know, what a cart boy is? Well, I used to get the ads that used to come in, and I used to put them onto a cartridge, and then put them again on another cartridge for the announcers, so that they didn't have to do anything. Poor little sods. <laughs> and who are you expecting to catch up with tonight? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Bill, Bill, what's his name? I'm Mary Ann Steffens, and I came from Melbourne, just for the occasion. Denise O'Shea, Denise O'Shea from Woodside. Yeah. And Diane Rogers from the Accounts Department. Linda Steffens from the Accounts Department. I, I used to be Bill Mudie. Oh, you used to be Bill Mudie? And who are you now? Um, I forget. Johnny, what are your favourite memories of KA? You must have a few. Well, uh, quite a few. As a listener and as a, an announcer, I was a mid-dawn announcer there in 66 and 67 after doing a stint at 5AU at Wyala. And I used to do mid-dawns on Fridays and Saturdays and uh, Re Rex Hoare, uh, Reg Hoare used to do them during the week. And my greatest delight was knocking off at six, six o'clock in the morning and seeing Leon Biner struggle through the door to do the breakfast show. <laughs> and he's still struggling to get to work? Yeah, I guess so. But uh, no, it was great because we used to have all these guys teed up like milkmen and that. He used to bring us in uh, buckets of milk and... Uh, also uh, grab us a pie from the, the pie cart and things like that, so it was great fun. And what changed your mind about radio announcing? Why didn't you continue? Uh, failure, I think, was... I did do a couple of other shifts at uh, KA. I filled in for the afternoon shift one weekday, and I did a Saturday morning, and I decided then that I wasn't quite up to the standard, so I decided to stick with the movie industry. Right, now when were you at KA, Natalie? I was in the record library to begin with, with Jack Fox, and then I moved to uh, Malcolm Benjo was in the library and then I went down and I was a bit of se secretary to Bill Davies and then Lou Bennett, wasn't it? Oh my goodness, well you're going to be a busy girl tonight. I think Bill might need you to take a few notes on his performance if you can, do you mind? I can still take shorthand. Bill Moody by any chance? Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. No, that's no being naughty, Nick. Why not? Come on. <laughs> okay, be naughty. We better move on. We're causing a bottleneck. OK, two, have a good time. Thank you. Have a good night. <laughs> well, I was in radio with 5KA back in the days of Vaughan Harvey, who's behind me. Uh, that's the late 50s. Started off as a trainee engineer, um, went to Victoria uh, on the announcing side, came back to 5KA, all-night announcer and fill-in announcer for about another 18 months, went back to Victoria, then I took up flying. And I did some instructing at Ballarat Aero Club for a couple of years. Then I went to Darwin as a charter pilot, then led, led, led to Singapore, uh, doing uh, work throughout Southeast Asia. And then I joined Malaysia Airlines in 1973, and I retired a couple of months ago after spending 28 years as a captain with Malaysia Airlines. And that's his story, and he's sticking with it. <laughs> and when were you at KA? 59 and 60, so that's uh, 40 years ago. Mm. Who was the GM at that time? Uh, oh, I forget. Uh, now, aren't you uh, Mr. Rex Levington? Hello, Kaz. Hello, how are you going? Hello, my love. You I'm so pleased to see you. Rex has come from Broken Hill to be with us tonight. Very, very long All way. away from the hill, and the Silver City. And what are you looking City? forward to tonight? Everything. <laughs> well, it's nice to be here. I was there between 69 and about 69, 79, early 80s, I think. Very early 80s. Goodness, and what are you expecting tonight? What am I expecting? I'm expecting to meet a lot of old friends and faces I've known over the years. Some have stayed within the industry, but they've all moved around. So, uh, and that I did as well. I moved from KA to AA. Excellent. And, yeah, in the time that Michael Wass brought in... Um, Country, country music. Oh, goodness, we don't talk about that. Well, Carol. Who else is turning up the nights? Thousands of people. Here's Max Hall. Max, tell us your story. John, I was uh, with 5KA back in the 50s, 60s, and even as, uh, as late as the early 70s. Had about uh, 13, 14, 15 years with 5KA, and Tom Warhurst, John Doherty, 
Bill Davies and Roger Dowsett and I used to do the Woodroofs Uninterrupted Football Brass broadcast for many, many years, and we had the number one rating for all of that time. We were proud of it too. Well, something always goes on rocking radio. What's your favourite memory of those times of the panel? Probably the worst thing that ever happened to me was that I had my own show eventually of a Saturday morning and they used to give me a half an hour but sometimes I'd go on for an hour. That'll give you some idea. <laughs> they just used to run and they asked me uh, something or other, or I asked myself the question, something to do with the Royal Show and I said it was the long kick competition but it all went wrong and it became the long brick competition. <laughs> oh and we have here Vinnie's Breezy Dollies. Was that you? Um, that was me. That was when I was only 19. Oh. Only 19. <laughs> when the sun always shone. Yes. <laughs> Hi Arlene, so you might say that for me again. I'm uh, Arlene MacDonald. I did the Anakin program on Sunday nights from mid 70s to about 76, 74, 76. Anyway, I've been watching the website. Terrific job. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. I hope you have a great night tonight. Thank See you. <laughs> Who are you? Doesn't matter. The ghost of KA past. <laughs> oh dear. Now we don't want you getting up to anything naughty tonight. No, we won't. Promise? Promise. And no breaking any hearts or anything like that? No, promise. <laughs> promise. <laughs> Have a good time. I'm Bronwyn Grant. I used to work in, at 5KA in the late 70s in the accounts department and I just remember it as being my first job and a couple of wonderful years of my life. Who are we welcoming here? Steve Stevens. Oh, pleased to see you, Steve. I was an apprentice technician in the early 70s. Bronwyn Wilson. Hi, welcome to the KA reunion. What are you looking forward to tonight? Oh, just seeing everybody again, I think. It would be great. Anyone you don't want to see? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Jordan. Ian Blythman. And Joy King. Hello, gorgeous Lindley John Cooper. Dean. Lovely to see you, Lindley. Yes. yes, former mid dawn announcer. I remember that. Those lovely little tones. But you did some other things there at KA as well. <laughs> Including putting South East South Australia off air. <laughs> hey, we've all done but that. I, but I also did um, some morning shows. You know, the Take 40 Australia, lots of voiceover work and commercials. And had a lot of fun. I actually enjoyed it. But I left to go to the building and construction industry. Shock horror, they didn't know what to do with me. <laughs> You're glad you've done that. You're making a lot more, aren't you? Well, I'm certainly making a lot more, but I, I miss radio. I actually think radio is wonderful. It's been my passion forever. Love it. I'm missing it too. Yeah. Now, what did you do at 5KA Bill Pay? Most things. Uh, I did production. I was music director for a while. I uh, did a noisy album show on Sunday nights, and that's about it. You certainly did. Well, you're going to see quite a few of your old workmates in there tonight. I'm worried about this already. Yeah. Phil Carey. What did you do at 5K? I was a production engineer and a, a journalist. So tell us, what's your name? Bob Francis. And Ooh, you've lost weight. The 5KA reunion and it's a great time. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the man who has trained so many of the uh, gee, young talent of today, a man whose name is synonymous with radio throughout the years, particularly that of 5KA, the man with those deep dulcet tones, the irrepressible Vaughan Harvey. Welcome back. Well, this is a different way to slow the queue up, isn't it? I mean, you, <laughs> we're all desperate for a drink and we've got to talk to you to get through. Hey, I was having a drink and they said, get out here, talk to somebody. So, so who you are and, and you're looking well. You haven't changed a bit since we were starring together on KA all those years ago. Oh, you're very kind. I, I know otherwise. <laughs> What's your favourite memory? Have you got one quickly? Um, well, I think every memory of working at 5K is favourite because it was such a lot of fun. My, uh, my memories of 5K are that you'd get up in the morning and go to work, you'd have a lot of fun and get paid for it. Absolutely, and you must have a, a very deep memory of a, a, a lot of the women that used to work at KA and a lot of the women that you coached to become successful announcers. They were all beautiful too. Yes. <laughs> Are you looking forward to a good night, Lionel? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, looking forward to it a lot because uh, there'll be a lot of faces here I haven't seen in a long time. Mine included. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ian Lane, I was a manager here. and uh, I was here from 1973 to 1980. Oh no, a manager, uh-oh. And what are you looking forward to tonight to do, Mr McRae? Um, meeting lots of old friends and trying to remember their names and piecing together a few blank parts of my life when I was in Adelaide. And I hope you're not going to run into any old girlfriends or anything. Oh, I hope not. I certainly hope not. I can't afford that. <laughs> Uh, I was there for about a year and a half, about 1989, 1990, just as a production assistant and had a good, uh, yeah, couple of years. 
what what dragged you away? Was it another job or the money was better somewhere else or what? Another job, ended up uh, going back to university and doing a few other things. But uh, yeah, no, it's fantastic, good time. Got a favourite memory? Um, no, just a, a lot of fun. The ratings parties were always pretty good, so no, it was an uh, excellent, excellent time. Yeah, that were the good old days. We used to have a party after every survey. These days, you're lucky to get the Christmas party. <laughs>